Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back. We are doing our study on followers of Jesus. And uh, it's Jeff Hopper with Dennis Darville. And we have had some really good discussions, and we hope that they've been helpful to you. We're going to continue today as we talk about uh, how Jesus might lead us into the light of life. Uh, before we do that, we always like to take up our, our golf question. And uh, my question for Dennis has to do with whether or not he's ever played in the dark. There are all these, um, I think half of them are uh, apocryphal stories, but there are all these stories of people sneaking on to Augusta National in the dark of night, you know, to play one hole in the dark. <laughs> Have you ever played around like that in the dark or under the lights or anything like that? You know, one, one time there's a course close by, uh, this little part three course. It's actually fun and it's lit, you know, it's like stadium golf or, uh, but I would, I would say the, the one that I remember the most is when we were in high school, we just didn't want to go home. We wanted to keep playing. Yeah. And we, We'd go get our cars and park them behind the green, number nine, part three, 190 yards, and just hit to the lights, you know. Well, I hope nobody bladed a shot. Yeah, no. Yeah, right no, into those cars no parked back there. Yeah, no kidding. No, I have those memories, too, of, of putting out when you could hardly see a thing. But uh, right. I don't know. You had, like, this innate sense of we can definitely play one more hole you know, and, and that was it. And you knew that if you raced through this hole, you'd have just enough light to put out and that'd be it. That's yeah. It. Well, when we talk about life in Christ, light versus darkness is a common theme. Uh, and we, we want to live in the light of Christ. Um, it's, it's as though when we follow Jesus, that light kind of goes before us and unfolds or lightens the path before us as we go. Um, probably that's God's design is he only illuminates just enough for us to see it each time. But what's happening when we stay in that light is that light starts to illuminate our own lives too. Uh, that light gets into the darkness of our lives. That light allows other people to see us all of this stuff happening uh, when the light of Christ is cast upon us. Am I right? It's exactly right. My mind's just racing with all those rich metaphors. John, as you know, Jeff introduces, opens his gospel with Jesus is the light, and that light is the very life of men. Yes. That light is a figure of speech. Repeatedly, Jesus says light is a metaphor or figure of speech for truth, uh, for redemption. Uh, the Proverbs say the path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter mm -hmm. into the full day. The psalmist, I think, if I remember this correctly, uh, you know, the word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yeah. Of all the things I'm grateful for, of course, forgiveness is at the top of the list, reconciliation with the Father, but right there, at the top of any list is the notion of God just opens our eyes, illuminates our mind, and we never see the world the same again. Right. Yeah. It's a complete change. And yet it's not a change that it's not like, um, you know, in the when you're watching the crime shows and there's some thievery being done over here in the dark. And then the, the authorities show up and boom, the light goes on. Right. And everything's right. exposed. It's more of a, a, a gradual process than that. Uh, and it's like the light, it's almost more like the sunrise. Yeah, the good. More light is being cast upon our lives as we go forward. Yeah, you're right. It's incremental, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's just baby steps. And many times you are not, or at least for me, I'm not even aware. It's in hindsight, I go, oh, that's why I made that decision. Or that's the why I was thinking that way was because the light of God's word, the light of the Holy Spirit, the light of his life had illumined me to see things properly. Yeah. What about the way that others see us 
when the light of Christ has arisen within us and around us. You know, is it uh, Paul and Corinthians that talks about, you know, this light is in uh, earthen jars, broken vessels, you know, uh, that, that theme, that motif is all through scripture as well, right? That when Christ touches our life, the Holy Spirit causes us to be born from above or born again, the famous phrase. Uh, you know, I remember when I first came to the Lord, I wasn't aware of it, but all my friends and family said, there's something different about mm -hmm. you, you know? And if we're following our savior, which is our major theme, while there's fits and starts and ebb and flow and ups and downs, and sometimes we move forward and sometimes backwards, we all are uh, capable of going backwards at times. Over time, uh, we're, we're seeing more light and that light is shining through us more and more. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you, Dennis. And uh, we thank you to all of you who've been with us. We have a couple more sessions and we look forward to seeing you soon.